Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you the brand new parametric filters. As I just sort of go through a few of them here, you'll see here that I've added in some cool rain effects, a nice cool halftone type effect. I've got a glitch effect, and if I keep going over here, I've got a hologram. There's a whole bunch of them. In fact, there's 21 at the moment. Let me show you how to add them. The first thing I want to note here is that I am in the Adobe Photoshop beta in particular, we're in 25.2. So if you need to download it, if you don't have it already on your computer, just head over here. I'm going to click on this little Creative Cloud button. And when I do that, it's going to load up my Creative Cloud. And under Beta Apps, you'll see here that I've got Photoshop Beta installed. Just make sure that it's installed. It will be here under the Desktop Apps. Okay, good. Let's get back into it. Now, to apply a parametric filter let's just go back to the beginning here i'm going to show you how to do it so the first step here is of course you want to go up to filter when i drop it down you're going to see the new parametric filters there's 21 of them at the moment here and you'll see when i hover over them it's black and white chromatic color distortion uh, glass filter filter glitch halftone hologram two holograms actually oil paint patterns, pixelates, it's just lots and lots of them. So to apply them, it's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and try the oil painting one. So I'm just going to click on it right here. You'll see that it gets applied as a smart filter. And more importantly, it opens up this new parametric properties panel. That was a mouthful. Um, so here we go. And then under the parametric properties, you'll see that we've got default settings, but if we want to soften or if we want, that looks actually pretty damn good right out of the box. Wow. We have a director, directional painting. Uh, we've got sketch. So we've got three different settings right out of the box. I really like the soften one. And then if we go down a little further, you can see here, you can play with all sorts of details and, and uh, controls. So if I want to reduce the intensity, for example, make it finer details, each different one of these has their own set of controls. So you can go ahead and change stroke size, highlight stroke size, everything. If I go over to this one here, I want to show you one last thing. You'll see here I've got a glitch effect applied to it. If I double click on the little button over there, you'll see here I can reduce the opacity. So if I think it's too much, I can just go ahead and tone it down a little bit if I wanted to. And another thing here is if I go to if I go back to filter parametric filters, normally you can only apply one filter at a time. But if you hold down the option key on a Mac, the alt key on a PC, I'm going to add an oil painting on top of the parametric or on top of the glitch one. So here we go. When I look in the 